the first time of the you know fanfare. I don't know how the heck you say that, but whatever. At the party. So man, it was wild, man. The girls were so fucking hot. My eyes were just like the camera was <laughs> all over the place, man. Girls all over the goddamn place. And you know what? The performance were amazing. I'ma tell you that. What can I say about Stephanie, man? She looked like an angel out there. I don't know what to say. She looks. I can't. I got no words for that girl. I think she's. She's hot. I don't know what to say. Look at this face. She has a beautiful butt. And you know what? And I'm just as short as her, man. I'd rather stay away because I need a lot of cushion in my little butt. I swear to God, I am too skinny. But okay, guys. Look at my friend right here. I hope she makes it to Houston because one, two, three little arms are left and let's try to kill her. Well, I was walking around the, walking around the club, drinking my little business up here and to somebody, some kind of chunta to win. Well, and that's what happened, guys. Don't, bad idea. Do not walk and drink. Just like don't drink and drive. So you get fucked. Details. I'm a tree lover. I love trees. I love them. They make me so happy. So. And guess what? I only got two. And now I'm gonna have three. Oh, this one is a host. Oh, thank you. Not a hole, I mean the host. Like, he runs from tree to tree. He takes over the tree. He kills trees. But, I don't know, I'm kind of shy right now. I don't know what to say. Let me hit the blunt. Let me, let me get, let me, let me get on my smoking session right now with Mr. Bon Marley. Let me come. Let me get some, a little bit of energy right now. When she was dancing out there, she fucking looked like an angel. She was just flying and flying and gosh, I was like, stay still, I'm trying to take a picture, girl. Wait, look at my man. Every time I would take a snap, she would already be gone. I was like, oh my god, what's happening? She was driving me crazy. And all these people, man, they were just pushing me around and crap. For real. You like, almost have a fight. Yeah, man. Some guy beat up my girlfriend for trying to defend me. I was trying to take a picture of some girl. And this guy goes, get the fuck out of my face. I'm like, ah, who are you, sir? I'm sorry, you know, no be no to respect. I don't give a fuck, he said, for real. I was like, and I go, who the fuck are you talking to, you stupid nigga? For real, they were like, what the heck? No, for real, I didn't say that. He goes, stop calling me a nigga, stop it. And I was like, well, you stop being so to respect, sir. I don't, you know what, I'm gonna be right back. And the girlfriend goes, no, no, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, you got to teach some matters to your boy. He can scream me too. What happened uh, to you? He was screaming me, then he turned around and he pushed my girl. Boom! I told my girl, did you hit him back? Nah, she started running. What happened to your finger? Oh, man, I don't even want to show you. It looks like a penis. <laughs> I was trying to pick up a... I was trying to pick up a girl, man, and she fucking fell on my finger and it broke. So I have to get 21 stitches on it, man. Look at that shit. But she said it now it's perfect. It says that he remodel now. It looks better than ever. I don't know why she says that, but I think that's the ugliest finger ever. But she says that's her favorite one. I wonder why, but. But I don't think so, guys. So I try not to show my hands, but look at that head. It looks like a penis, 100%. Don't tell me no, I just need to do that little line up here. I'm sorry I lost my lighter, man. I keep losing the lighter. I hate it. My girl says that my ass is him all the time. Shit, baby, it's true. <laughs> she was right. No. Where did it go? Well, it is clear. It happens all the time. That's crazy, man. Oh, there you go. What was your favorite part of that there? Stephanie. And her 
husband, man. Oh! I'm gonna tell you, man. You can see her figure, man. Her voice is blending with the music and the melody. She's a really nice person. She like has a Shelly? great personality. You like Shelly Lottie show? Man, she's really funny. <laughs> she is really funny, man. She just put it out there. Hey, everybody be quiet. She's really cool. The way she handled the show was really crazy, though. I like it. She's a bossy. She's a bossy lady. No, Stephanie's a sweet. She's a honeybee. For reals. She, Stephanie, she wants to do everything that like, everybody, all the guys, they, anybody that comes along, she, she, she's really nice with everybody. She's lovey, lovey with everybody. She loves, she has lots of love, lots of honey. She's a honeybee. A pretty green honeybee. She was green. She's pretty. Did you make a lot of friends? No, Did they make, make a lot of people. No, they make friends with me. <laughs> I didn't meet them. They met me without me even knowing. It. People recognize you. Huh? Yeah. Oh, that was really crazy, man. I was thinking, are you talking to the right girl? Do you know me? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, tell me a story because let's talk because I'm kind of lost. That was really true, you know, not, and I feel really, I was like, oh my God, what am I supposed to say next? I was really shy, I didn't know what to say. But I love everybody. What everybody was so nice. So, what other shows did you see? Man, there was a lot of shows. I just, I just cannot remember. Everybody was so beautiful. For reals. Everybody was really cute. All the guys, all the girls, all the bands. Oh, Robbie, Rob Long? Oh, that guy's crazy. Yeah, he's really crazy. Uh, I'm sorry, the lighter does not work. But yeah, I had a great time. It was awesome. I loved it. I went walking, meeting as many people I could possibly can. Meeting as many ugly girls. There were a bunch of ugly girls. Too. A lot of ugly girls. A bunch of them. Girls, y'all really need to work on your bodies. Please do that. <laughs> Stop wearing those kind of sexy outfits and not look good on you, making your rushes between your legs. <laughs> Don't encourage yourself out there for reals, girls, girls, girls. It's about to look hot! For reals, and that is the truth. Why don't you give uh, people a little history about yourself? What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Light. I am from here, there, and there. This is my house, my vessel. So wherever my vessel stays, that's where I live. And you have a son. I have a crazy history. I have a son, I have a husband, and I have a wife. <laughs> and guys, don't not go crazy, because I can have a wife and a husband. So I sleep with my wife all the time. One day here, one day there, and, you know. It does not matter. The thing is, at the end, we all sleep together. We're waiting on each other's back. <laughs> well. Life is life, we gotta be happy. There's nothing else to do. I'm not the only one, there's a bunch of them out there, I promise. Well, one time I went to Mexico, man, thinking all happy and stuff. I'm gonna go get myself beautiful and skinny. So I go with this doctor and he told me, man, I give you $4,000, $4, I charge you, and I'll make you beautiful, I'll make you beautiful. And I'm gonna eat, I said, for real, yeah. Well, come here, you got the money right now? I was like, yeah, I got it right now, well, come here. He put me to sleep right there and then. He cut me open and he shut my stomach down. So I went through hell through that. And then after that, nobody loved me no more. Everybody told me that I needed to go back to my country to, to get help. To come you said back. you almost died, right? Yes, I was 30 days with no food, no water on an IV. So what I did, I flew back to Mexico really quick and fast, as much as possible. And when I got there, they grabbed me, they took me in an emergency, they opened me, they took me a straw, it was a straw, the ones you put, this kind of straw, exactly like this. He had connected my, from right here, directly to my asshole, so I could not come out. So I couldn't eat, drink or nothing, my stomach could not digest nothing. So for those days, they completely, they put some tubes so they could take my water out of my stomach so they could drain. They make sure that my stomach was completely dry so it could, you know, rejuvenate, fix itself. And once it was that, it took me so they can give me a new stomach and that's what they did. So they grabbed me and
and they staple me more. They staple on my stomach to, you know, make it better. So now I eat like a baby, which is never. That's true. That's gonna. You said you put your own IV too, right? Yes, I did, man. You know what? It's really crazy. You have to be careful who you're gonna go and make yourself beautiful. Don't try to make you beautiful with nobody. Everybody's a liar, especially if you're gonna play with your life or your body. I was really innocent about that. I just wanted to be beautiful. So four thousand dollars, I was like, oh my god. So you know what that is. You know what I'm talking about. So now. I'm thinking I want to make some, I want to put some titties, but I really need a lot of cushion on my butt, so. I was really thinking, I don't know where I'm gonna go. Shoot, I gotta make some researches, and really researches, cause gosh, I do not wanna die yet. So look at them trees, guys. They're really pretty, all of them. They're all really pretty. I really, I really love trees. What else would you like to know? What would you like to know? 